just took a tumble. I'm fine. Hey, you're not going anywhere. Don't be daft. The nurse has gone to get you some crutches. You've had a pretty massive bump on the head. I need to get out of here, David. I've got a job, responsibilities. You've got to recover. With your foot up on my sofa, me catering to your every whim. What? Well, you're going to have to move in. Not just, just while you're mobile again. I'll get my dad and Matty to look after the shop and I'll look after you. What about Jacob? What about him? His exams, his deadlines. I need to talk to him. If you're worried about him passing his history, it's one GCSE. I know you want him to get top marks to prove you're an amazing teacher, but in the grand scheme of things... Where is he? He's outside, fretting about you. He's with my dad and Layla. I'm sorry. Hey, shush. You've had a big shock. You're bound to be a bit teary, but it could have been a lot worse. I don't know why you put up with me. <laughs> I'm moody, I'm flaky. I'm kind, I'm caring, beautiful. And you know what the upside to all this is? You're going to have to take some time off school. All those meetings and marking. I'm going to have you all to myself at once. <laughs> Do you want me to call anyone? School, your mum? Oh, no, I'll call Jessie later. <laughs> Definitely not my mum. <laughs> She'd love me being trapped in bed so she could move in and take over. Well, that's my job. I told you that. Hey. Are you all right now? What happened? I fell. <clears throat> so they say I... I don't really remember. Why, what were you doing? Does it matter, Jake? Give the poor woman a break. I never meant to upset you. David, um, could you ask the nurse for a cup of tea, please? Yeah, sure. You were leaving. I got your voice message. You backed me into a corner, Jake. What? You said you were going to tell Jessie about us. You threatened me. I never would have told anyone. I was just mad at you. Well, how was I supposed to know that? I have never seen you so cruel. So you were walking out? On everything? I was trying to. It won't be now. Listen, you don't need to. What we had stays between us, all right? Really? A hundred percent. I'm really sorry for scaring you. Promise me, however angry I may make you, you'll never ever do this again. Because I kept imagining scenarios being summoned into Jessie's office, interrogated about all of our private moments. She wouldn't understand. Nobody would. It's none of their business. It's our secret, Mayor. And that's how it's gonna stay. <laughs>